Hey everybody, T Nick here, and like I said last week, today I'm going to be showing off some Marvel customs that I have made, and it's just an assortment of them. There's no really particular, like, arrangement. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. To begin with, we have Cyclops from the X-Men comics and movies, and the reason I just... Well, first off, this is just the figure from the set that the Cyclops figure appeared in. I just really updated it. Um, the reason I did that was because I didn't want to go for the 90s one, although I still might make that because I have a love-hate relationship with that one. I don't know why. But I really wanted to go for like this design over here because this is the design I grew up knowing Cyclops. This is what he looked like to me. Um, so yeah, so I don't want to make a fully... Uh, new figure, so I just added some similar parts to it, um, such as the black lining going around that goes all the way around from there, there, and the yellow lining that outlines that. Um, the boots again, yellow, and they go all the way around. Is there anything special about this figure? Um, I also have an alternate head. Which is just this. I didn't really do anything special, because I thought this Hawkeye head from the original Avengers worked perfectly. So I didn't really find a reason to try and make a custom one. But for the alternate face on the back side, what I did was I added some red dots to show off his uh, blast effect, kind of. So, yeah, there's that. But, I mean, that's really it for the figure, so, um, I mean, yeah, that's Cyclops. The next figure is my comic book version of Falcon. If you saw my last video, you would know that I used this version of Falcon's head for my Static Shock. And so I said in this video what I did with, what I replaced it with, which I just used this space Batman head. Which, I mean, I think it works pretty good because, you know... He's flying around and shit, so he's gonna get, like, bugs and shit in his face. But, after that, I decided to add some more, such as the gold gloves he has, or gauntlets. I might change them to gauntlets, get some Brick Forge, uh, gauntlets, or Brick Warriors gauntlets, see what happens. I also added some boots with a black trim on the top there, or black lining. Those go all the way around, even at the bottom. I also changed the white at the very top, so it matches the shoulders. By the way, I put it on the shoulders there. And so, that continues at the top of the head as well. So, yeah, that's uh, all wrap around. I also just added a little bit more red there and there. I should have went for a dark red. I might go back and redo that. But, yeah, I still have his uh, wing pack there. So, or flight suit, whatever the hell you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's it for Falcon. Not too much. The next figure is the Mark 45 Iron Man from Age of Ultron. And what I did, well, first off, I was originally going to take one of, I think it's Clone Army Customs. I think that's who made it. Their Iron Man pieces and just make a design on there. And then, like, I came to the conclusion that I don't think that would work out properly. I don't think it would look as good. I still might try it later on with a different armor, but not this one or uh, my Infinity War one. Once I get a, once I get the parts for that figure, I'll just add on the arms and legs. But that's what's the point. Point is this one. What I did was I outlined helmet, added some red marks there. Uh, I added the silver bits right there. Added red right there. Same goes for the top. There is still that. And it goes all the way around, and underneath it's just Tony Stark head, nothing special. Um, the arms are just there. I tried getting as much of the design as I could, but I don't know. Like, I mean, it's alright. It could be worse, you know. This isn't my favorite armor, but it definitely is in the top five, in my opinion, of the best armors that they've had for Iron Man and MCU. I also painted the sides of the hands there, where his fingers would be. Um, the legs, I had the continuing pattern, I have some knee pads there, some toe part parts right there. And that continues on the inside of the legs. 
end wraps around there. And I also have a little bit of gunmetal going right at the hit piece there. But I mean, there's really not that much left to say with this. I mean, it's an old ass figure. It's from like, what, 2015? But uh, yeah, there's Mark 45 Iron Man. So if you've been on my channel for a while now, you would know that I am a pretty big fan of the X-Men. They are what got me into comic books in the first place, so they have like a significant staple on my history, I guess you could say. Um, but like I am for my Justice League and my Legion of Superheroes, I'm trying to expand those rosters and make some more of those figures. Um, so... For this one, I have Iceman from X-Men. Um, what I did was I took Electro's head from that Spider-Man set. Um, same with the body. Um, I added, I erased the face. I added a mouth, eyes, and eyebrows with white pupils. And in retrospect, I'm kind of iffy on it. I kind of wish I went for a blue ninja head I saw a while ago. I don't know, I might go back and do that, because I kind of prefer if it was all one solid color. But, I don't know, I also like the translucent feel. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll post about it later, maybe. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, like I said, I just used Electro's body. I also changed the arms and the hands, I think. I think he came with blue hands, I'm not entirely sure. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, we all use this body for Iceman or Quicksilver, one of the two. So, yeah, that's it for Iceman. So my last figure is Storm, which, in all honesty, she's basically the mother of the X-Men, let's be honest. Um, I didn't want to go with the design Lego use. I chose to get rid of the legs, uh, get rid of the hairpiece, use that for where I think uh, another figure that I showed earlier. It was my Killer Frost, that's what it was, which is in another video. Um... And so, yeah, I just basically did my own design. I compared it to a couple different designs I saw in, like, cartoons and shit. And for the boots, I just did yellow boots. They wrap all the way around. And there's that. The cape, in all honesty, I kind of lost the yellow cape, the one that wrapped around her hands. Um, so I just chose a cloth Batman cape. And, I don't know, I think that works. Um, arms, regular brown, hands, yellow. For gloves, the head is the same except for the alternate head piece, the alternate face, which I, like, changed the white of the eyes. I made them kind of brighter for when she's using her powers. So, there's that. Because they seem kind of dim on the figure. Cause the printing just was off, so I decided to do my own. The hair, I originally was going to use this for a Quicksilver when Age of Ultron first came out, but I decided against it, and so I used it for Storm, and I think it looks pretty damn good, actually. Like, because in some comics, she'll have shorter hair, and in X-Men 3, she had shorter hair, so, I don't know, I think this is, like, my new definitive Storm as of right now. But, uh, yeah, that's the last figure of the night. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you didn't, comment down below and tell me why so you can help me become a better YouTuber. Um, next week should be a skit that I have planned. I've already shot at least a scene or two of that. Um, so it will be that. And then afterwards, I don't know. We'll just go from there. But yeah, so I'm going to keep up with these minifigures. I've still been working on them. Um, my next minifigure-wise video... I'm not entirely sure what that'll be. I'm not going to make figures for Captain Marvel. Um, I might do, like, an updated figure. and But, I mean, if anything, that would just require, like, an Instagram or Flickr post. So, also, check me out on there. Link's in the description below. Um, I'm up to date on there from time to time. I'm getting better. Um, again, like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. If you like the video, stay. You might find something else you like. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, so I will see y'all in the future. Bye!